Hi there, Bosus. Healing has been getting a pretty bad rap lately in Final Fantasy XIV, mainly due to the very boring and minimal GCD rotation that a lot of healer kits have. There's been a lot of talk in general from the elitist healers to the people who never really want to pick up the job or maybe picked up the job only once. I'm an Omni Battle class enjoyer, so I played all the roles, and I feel like that's given me a little bit of a benefit on how I can help you enjoy the current mindset of healer. Healing has a pretty simplistic mindset. Now this kind of changes depending on the healer role you choose. White Mage, I'm totally looking at you, <laughs> but when I just want to chill in a level 90 dungeon or even a leveling roulette, I'll just take Sage, throw a Cardi on someone and everything's an OGCD. So it's a pretty lax mindset when I'm just trying to blow through some daily content. It's when I really don't want to think about execution, rotation abilities, like a lot of DPS jobs or even tanks have. Most players, in my opinion, I think really struggle from a nervous standpoint. When you're nervous, you tend to mess up a little bit more. And once you move past that, which you can only do just by doing the job more, think that healing is one of the easiest things you can do in Final Fantasy 14 for casual content. I have never felt less stress-free than going into like a 20th dungeon with the scholar tacking on my fairy and basically having to do zero healing. There is a real beauty in the simplicity of healing and something about that protector kind of daddy mindset of you want heals then Big. I really enjoy that. Now, faster queue times has always been a benefit of healing in Final Fantasy XIV. You just simply get into dungeons and duty roulettes quicker. Even though you see that tank adventure in need on almost all the duty roulettes all the time, I still have like a couple minute queue, which in retrospect and in a top level view doesn't really matter. But when you only have an hour to play and you're trying to get things done before you have to go into IRL work, those queue times really start piling up and getting you to play the game more as a healer is just a really big benefit of it. Not to say there can't be better queue times on certain times a day and it affects how many people are playing at the time, but I just find generally healers have faster queue time. The biggest con in healing, which is boring and minimal, is another man's pro. Basically, a minimal DPS rotation opens the game to so many more people to play Final Fantasy XIV as an MMO. My Discord alone, which you should totally join, description down below, say that Final Fantasy XIV is their first MMO that they've ever played. And they've enjoyed previous Final Fantasy games, but have never played an MMO, which we all know is just a different type of gaming. Personally, I love the DPS rotation of healers and I do not want them to go away. And I actually hope that they add more in the future. But Miss Shapen Chair does a really good job of explaining why healing isn't fun. And I think that really hits home for a lot of veterans with his sentence. And I quote, you get a fancy new healing button that will solve the exact same problem you can already solve. And honestly, I think that hit really deep with a lot of veteran healing players. I think there is a pro for new Final Fantasy players to pick up on healing and focus on it. Since it is such a minimal DPS, you can really just focus on learning the mechanics of the game as well as understanding how party buffs, DPS buffs, and even enemy attacks work. This kind of conversation is really fascinating to me, and I'm really interested on in what the community thinks. So leave a comment down below on your personal opinions on the healer meta for Final Fantasy XIV and what you think the developers can do to change it. Touching on team building, I honestly think this is one of the biggest benefits that doesn't get highlighted when people are playing healer. Never did I understand dungeon mechanics, party mechanics, DPF buffs, more so than when I was a healer and timing. Sometimes I can effectively plan the heal that I'm going to have to cast that will essentially cancel out a party wide AOE. And there's honestly just nothing better than that feeling. Understanding tank mitigations, looking at abilities being currently used and seeing the DPS being able to burn down mobs or a boss during a specific window and letting myself just focus on keeping them alive as well as contributing to the damage through my damage over time or my single GCD. I think that just made me a better Final Fantasy player in general. Now, do I pick up healing every single time I want to do something? Absolutely not. I like a little variety of spice, and so I usually play Black Mage, Reaper. I kind of have one job from every role that I like to switch between. I do think that certain healers are a little better at this, Astro and Scholar being the top of those two. 
Astro with the job ability buffs that they have are just kind of unmatched. And if you want a more advanced, involved playstyle, then I think Astro would be the perfect healer for you. Scholar, we see this a little bit with Chain Stratagem, which can really help increase the damage output for your party. Unfortunately, White Mage and Sage don't have these type of party-wide buffs that they can offer, but it's a little bit easier to heal the party with those two specific jobs than Scholar and Astro, in my personal opinion. Now, I want to be entirely clear. I do not think they should take away DPS from healing. I want them to add more. There was some communication happening in my Discord recently about talking how they can improve healers. One of the things that I saw was that if Healers had a more involved DPS rotation, still simple, but something a little bit more extended. And when you execute that rotation properly, you will get a party-wide heal in order to allow healers to have a little bit more of a party-wide benefit and a more involved DPS rotation. Now, I kind of think that's a good idea. I'm not sure how the developers would do that. I think it is going to change, and I don't think Misshapen Chair is too off the mark that healing currently is one of the more boring healer roles, but that will attract a lot of new people because some people like boring when they're learning a new game. And boring is really, really perspective on how much healing you've actually done in the past few years. I think an even spread of job playing really gets you to not get burnt out on a specific job too often. And nowadays, it's not really hard to level up other alt jobs that you want to play. I have always trusted the devs with their decisions on how they do jobs and I don't think this time will be any different. I'm looking forward to the new jobs that they will be eventually be adding. If they can somehow create healing to be a little bit more involved, that it would really balance out all four of the healers. Because I think there's just too much of a landslide between all four of the healers for effectiveness, enjoyment, and simplicity. The devs do take our feedback to heart, and I really appreciate playing a game where I feel like my opinion is listened to and not just pushed under the rug like some of these other big MMOs. Now, if you've noticed, my channel name has changed. I am now Bunbox. Final Fantasy 14, previously Stefan Ash Final Fantasy 14, and I appreciate just all the like and support up until now. All the likes, the subscribes, the notifications for my videos, that just really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I just want to give a big shout out to my Patreon and new YouTube members for joining the channel as it really just keeps this channel running. I do live stream here on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live or putting out new video content. If you want more of a a deeper comparison guide of healers, then you can watch my healer comparison guide that I will put right here.